And I figured that instead of trying to review things for you to buy or not to buy, how about I help you get set up? So this video is particularly aimed at those of you who are possibly getting started with Twitch streaming, live streaming, YouTube content creation, podcasting, whatever it is that you want to do. And today we're going to be focusing on setting up your microphone audio. And I'm just going to walk you through what I do. Um, and we're going to pretend a couple of things. Okay. We're going to pretend number one, that you've got a microphone, you have an audio interface. If you need one, if you're using USB mic, then you can eliminate that out of the picture and you're only using OBS. All right. You're not using anything else. Like you don't have Elgato products. You don't have access to Wavelink. You don't have access to Elgato's uh, VST plugins. You can't just add in VST plugins to Wavelink because you don't have it. And instead, we're going to focus and pretend that you only, only have OBS and nothing else to work with. And I'm going to get you sounding great in just a couple of steps. Now, that being said, what you're listening to right now is the Earthworks Ethos running through my Roadcaster Duo, uh, which is a $500 audio interface slash mixer. Okay. And it, it comes with its own onboard processing. So you can do things like equalizing compression, noise gate. Uh, they have their oral exciters and big bottom. They have de they have high pass filters as well. And you can turn, you can turn them off. You can turn them on. You can change them, adjust them, blah, blah, blah. What you're listening to right now is how I've got my Worthworks ethos set up via the Roadcaster duo processing on blah, blah, blah. We're going to go ahead and turn all that off right now. And it's off. And if I did my job correctly, then there's a really good chance you can hear a difference. And the best way to tell, and I'm going to sound a little weird because it's really weird hearing myself here. Uh, the best way to tell is that you can hear all my background noise. So, shh. Okay, cool. This microphone is running through the Rodecaster Duo with 30 decibels of gain. Your gain setting is going to be a little different than mine, most likely. And that's okay. You just want to get it to a point where it sounds good to you. And obviously you're not clipping. So for example, if I start turning this up way high at 45, that's too much. So we're going to bring it back down to 30 and we're good. Now, first thing is obviously you've got your mic plugged in the, um, USB to the computer, if it's a USB mic or to your audio interface of choosing, and that's connected to your computer via USB, you'll have downloaded OBS, you have it installed and you've got it up and running. All right. Now, this is probably what you're looking at right now. You've got all your scenes and your sources right over here. I have my mic set up as the Rode mic chat duo. All right. And as you can tell, we're going to click it here. We're going to go to filters. We got nada, nothing, zero. Now with all this noise going on in the background, I don't want that bleeding into my content and I'm sure you don't want the same. So you're going to go down here and you're going to hit plus and all of these plugins right here, except for the bottom one are all things that OBS already has included for free. So you're going to go to expander and you're going to click it. You hit okay and voila, all that noise gone. You don't need to do anything else here. We're just going to move on. All right. We're going to hit plus again. Now, sometimes we can get really loud, sorry, or we can get really low and that kind of throws off the balance of the audio. So that's why we use the compressor. We're going to click it. We're going to hit okay. And you're going to start off with a ratio of 10 to one. And that's a big one. So I'm going to bring it down to four. Usually four to one is the sweet spot. Bam. Now, no matter how loud I get, it doesn't gonna, it's not gonna blow up. It's going to try and compress the peaks and lows to a certain range, a certain ratio and make sure that your audio sounds as even, if that makes sense, as humanly possible. Next up. So we're going back here, click on your mic source, go to filters, and we're going to add our EQ. I want this microphone to sound as close to as it does with all the processing from my Rodecaster Duo. Now the EQ included with OBS is a three band equalizer. Click it. Hit okay. 
you can only adjust the high, the mid, and the low. And for our intents and purposes, that's more than enough. All right, especially if you're just getting started. So the golden rule with EQ is you cut first, boost last. So I know because I've done this for a while is that I, I take my mids and I bring them down to like negative four. Bam, right there. You can already hear a very noticeable difference between the two. Because this is a, a broadcast condenser microphone, I'm not too concerned with the high end, all right? So I'm gonna leave the high end right there. As a matter of fact, actually, hold on to that thought. We're gonna go with low end first. I want a little bit more bass in my chain because I have a somewhat deep voice and I want that to shine through, especially through this amazing microphone. So we're gonna go ahead and boost it up by one decibel. And even that right now sounds like it's a little too much. So I'm gonna cut it down to like half a dB, 0.5, all right? Now I wasn't gonna mess with the high end, but I want a little bit of clarity at the top end. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to 0 0.6. And this right here is what I would consider to be, for my liking, good audio. Like I think it sounds great. And that's it, simple as that. If you're only using OBS, to manage your VST plugins for your microphone's audio, you've got your mic plugged in either through an audio interface because it's an XLR microphone or straight to your computer because it's a USB microphone, you can use the VST plugins that OBS Studio has included with it for free and get that level of sound. What you're listening to right now is of course the Rodecaster Duo doing all the processing, but you heard what it sounds like when we used OBS plugins and they're not that bad. And let me tell you something, okay? Real quick, a uh, little pro tip here, or just, you know, my two cents. The Reaper noise gate is okay. The expander in OBS is exponentially better. So if you're trying to eliminate the sound or the noise coming into your microphone your from your environment, don't even bother using Reaper noise gate. Go ahead and just use the expander that comes included with OBS because it's fantastic. I hope this simplifies things for you. I would have loved to know this from the moment I started creating content because I would have had much better audio from the get-go, which thankfully I've learned this along the way and now I can pass that on to you. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. Until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to one another. Peace out.